Mr. Buck, I want to ask you uh, about women who are taking a hard look at this race and deciding how they're going to make up their mind and some issues that have come up, controversial issues for you. You've taken a hardline position on abortion, saying you'd vote for a ban even if it include rape and incest. Uh, during the primary campaign, you, should, uh, you said that voters should vote for you because you don't wear high heels. And then there was an issue that's gotten a lot of attention as a district attorney about a 2006 date rape case. You, de you declined to prosecute. You told the Greeley Tribune a jury could very well conclude that this was a case of buyer's remorse after you looked at the circumstances of the case and decided not to prosecute. A lot of people thought that was an insensitive remark. The woman who was involved in this case has been critical of you, saying that your tone was one of, of in essence, attacking her. Uh, it was not the first time that your judgment or your ethics as a lawyer has been questioned. And I wonder whether you regret using those words and whether you think women should give some weight to those issues in deciding whether to vote for you. I, I think women as well as men are concerned about jobs and the economy and spending and, and other issues. Uh, they're concerned that when their kids graduate from college they have an economy and they have a future in this country and they, they have the same kind of opportunity that we've had and uh, our grandparents have had. But I'd like to talk about yeah. a couple of those issues if I can to clarify some things. Okay. Um, rape case came into our office. Uh, it was reviewed by an attorney with a prosecutor with 30 years prosecutorial experience who is now on the Colorado Court of Appeals. He declined to prosecute. Two female chief Chief deputies reviewed the case, talked to witnesses. They, re they uh, declined to prosecute. The case went to another chief deputy who had handled many of the high-profile rape cases in the, in the Denver metro area. He declined to prosecute. I met with this young lady, explained the circumstances. I then sent the case to the Boulder County uh, District Attorney's Office for, for Boulder County because they had a lot of experience with date rape as a result of the University of Colorado being in that county. Um, they declined to prosecute and told me that the case couldn't be prosecuted. It was after um, uh, uh, this uh, young lady made this case public that I had to explain to the newspaper exactly But the you reasons. regret the way you either talked to her or talked about the case? I, I don't regret the way I talked to her. I think, I think um, the, it is important that um, a prosecutor um, a, approach a victim with, with a certain amount of reality, and, and that's what I tried to do with this victim. I didn't blame her right. at all. But what about what you told the Greeley Tribune? What I told the Greeley Tribune, I gave them five or six reasons why I thought mm -hmm. a jury could uh, decline this case. One of the reasons was the fact that she had regretted this relationship and she had buyer's remorse as a result of the relationship that she had with this young man. Mm -hmm. um, that is, that is uh, something that I think when, when someone decides to make a case public, the, the public has to understand why. Senator, is this an issue? I, just, I, I, I do think it's an issue. Look, I have a lot of sympathy for the victim in this case. He just used the language again, buyer's remorse. And as the father of three little girls, I just think that's the wrong way to talk about uh, this kind of set of circumstances, especially when you're a prosecutor.